hi besties my name is Paige welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here since I am reacting to a newer group that I have not reacted to on my channel yet but I have been stating them for not that long but a little bit as you can see by the title I'm gonna react to XG's documentary series episode zero so this is kind of like the introduction to the series I believe my bestie Rhodey who is the biggest XG stan that I no, said that this is mostly just like Simon and him talking about like his vision for the group and whatnot. So I'm really excited. Let me just give you a little rundown on like my little XG standing journey. So like I said, my bestie Rhodey has been seeing them for quite some time. And when they were about to have their comeback for Shooting Star, that's when I really started to get into them because I was excited for their comeback, obviously, because Rhodey was so excited. So, like, when that comeback happened, I was sold. I was in deep from there on out. I love these girlies so much. They are so talented and I just love them. My bias is Chisa. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I hope I am. But her, oh my god, I love her. And I also really love Hinata these days she's so freaking cute but literally all of them like when i say it's so hard for me to pick a bias in a girl group it's so hard because i literally love all of them so much but anyways they are the moment and i love them what they're doing with their sound is just spectacular phenomenal love them so much okay anyways without further ado let's watch this first episode of the documentary i am going to react to the whole thing probably i think they come out every monday so hopefully i will be right on time with the rest of them so here we go let me turn my volume up a little bit. Oh jeez. It has to be on an even number because I'm a psych. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god, she's they're so little. <laughs> Um, agreed. <gasps> oh my god, she's so freaking cute. extra thing that you can't really explain that focus and that discipline is what's going to take them to the top because they're not going to stop i was going to say something but i don't want to like interrupt the thing i'll leave it till after but i just want to say that i freaking love this man like he it's so rare to see like, because isn't he like the CEO, like the producer, the whatever? To see him care about them so much is freaking iconic, and you just don't see that a lot. So I love this man. Like, he genuinely cares about them. <clears throat> oh! Oh, he's strict. Okay. He's straight. Oh! <laughs> I'm literally tearing up, that's crazy. <laughs> そう、私は。そういう次の数年グローバルコール <laughs> okay, Miss Hong. 
이게 그냥 음악적 장르라기보다는 수많은 사람들이 오랫동안 치열하게 노력해온 거에 만들어진 하나의 문화라고 생각합니다. 저 역시도 10년 이상 케이팝씬에 못 나왔던 사람이었어요. He knows how it works. 그런 필드에서 저희가 아티스트 그룹으로서 많은 성장과 많은 사람들에게 보여줄 수 있는 좋은 기회라고 Oh my god, she's so cute. 좋은 음악과 좋은 콘텐츠 좋은 퍼포먼스 멤버들의 어떤 좋은 인격과 매력 넘치는 모습으로 인정받고 사랑을 받고 저희 없는 아티스트 그룹으로서 허가된 그런 비전을 갖고 있습니다. 너희가 하는 게 K-POP이냐 J-POP이냐 사실 저희도 그 부분에 대해서는 정말 많이 저희 아티스트가 전원 일본인들이라 한국에서 음악 방송 활동이나 컨텐츠를 제작을 하지만 음악의 메시지는 저희가 글로벌하게 영어로서 저희의 사운드를 표현하고 저희 레이블에 있는 다양한 국적의 팀원들과 함께 걸그룹 아티스트로서의 새로운 방향성을 제시하자라고 했던 비전들이 우리의 음악을 꼭한 카테고리에 정의해야 되는 게 맞을까 라는 고민과 어떤 끝없는 생각을 좀 오래 했던 것 같아요. 새로운 도전이 처음엔 많은 사람들에게 낯설다고 느껴질 수밖에 없겠다 라든가 그리고 순탄하지만은 않겠다라는 거는 항상 예상과 각오를 해왔고 <웃음> 무엇보다도 근데 그런 진정성 있는 모습과 좋은 음악, 좋은 퍼포먼스로 많은 분들께 새로운 즐거움을 보여드릴 수 있다면 이거는 통할 수 있겠다. 음, 그런 우리 전원 일본인 아티스트들이 자꾸 이렇게 배우러 와서 도전해 인정을 받고 싶다라는 기대와 확신을 가지고 준비했습니다. 책임자로서 저도 압니다. 굉장히 여러 시선들이 있다는 것. 제일 중요한 건 어쨌든 그런 케이팝이라는 문화가 이제 앞으로 저는 케이팝이다 아니다로 정의를 하기보다는 이런 문화로 자리 잡힌 Oh my god, they are so precious 저희 같은 그런 양상을 포용하고 즐기실 수 있게 하는 것이 저희가 해야 되는 일이라고 생각했고 케이팝 씬의 또 넥스 스텝이라고 생각을 했습니다 저희가 앞으로 어떤 행보를 보이느냐에 따라서 저희 진정성을 아실 거라고 믿고 있고요. 아이돌 문화 산업 시장을 더 크게 발전할 수 있도록 일조하는 그런 회사가 되고 싶습니다. 되게 의미 있는 일이지 않을까 저는 그렇게 생각을 해왔습니다. 엑스 갤럭스를 이끌어가는 책임자이자 대표이자 프로듀서로서 그런 회사의 비전, 방향성, 정체성을 좀 Oh, I'm glad he's doing this so that people know like what the what the vision is because I feel like not many people if you're just stumbling upon them then you're gonna be confused on like is it k-pop is it j-pop is it just like a girl group because it is like they sing in English they speak Japanese and Korean they promote in Korea Oh my god, my. She's so cute.
일단 엑스트라 엑스트라는 이름의 유래는 신문을 통해서만 이렇게 정보를 소식을 접했던 시절에 옛날이죠. 네. 미국에서 어, 정말 이거는 임팩트 있고 스페셜한 so 것을 길거리에서 엑스트라 엑스트라 외치면서 소식을 이렇게 전하고 배포했었는데요. What a big brain. 그 친구들에게 있어 글로벌 아티스트가 되기 위한 어떠한 열정, 어떠한 그런 강렬한 <웃음> 마음, 그 데뷔까지의 과정이 얼마나 혹독하고 때로는 따뜻하고 때로는 그 안에 끈끈한 연으로 구성진 저희 안에 있는 그런 드라마를 있는 그대로 좀 빨리 보셔야 된다. 이거 한번 꼭 봐달라. 이거 보면 놀라게 되실 거다라는 좀 그런 뜻이 되게 부합하다 생각해서 그리고 또 저희 팀 이름이 Extra Ordinary Girls라서 Extra Extra라는 이름으로 정해지게 됐다는 것도 되게 분명 같아요. 네. 그래서 기대 많이 해주시고 Oh my god, they just slay. Like, oh. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. He... What a king. I love this man. Oh my god, I'm literally so excited. I'm literally so excited! Oh my god, I'm so excited. XG, everything I do, I do it A1, flawless. I'm actually so excited that he made that little episode to like talk about it because if you're not a stan, then you don't know. Like, like I was saying, I feel like Left, Right and Shooting Star a little bit, like both like kind of went viral and I, I'll get into like why I think that is in a little bit, but people that don't know who they are are like, gonna probably just assume that it's K-pop and then when they look into it, they're like, oh, they promote in Korea, but they're Japanese, but they sing in English and they're gonna be confused. So I think that him talking about his vision was a really good idea to start off the documentary. Like I was saying, I just think that XG are the moment. I think it's really cool to go back and see, cause they don't have that many songs out right now, right? Like they really don't, but they've done a lot of different like covers and you have like the the cypher or whatever thing and i think it's so cool to see their progress in such a short amount of time and i think that with shooting star and left right they finally found their sound that i think suits them so well they do it better than any girl group in my opinion right now and also their branding is on point like when i say on point i mean on point the y2k vibes from their styling to their music videos to their logo to their editing like literally on point and i think the reason that it's going really viral is because people that grew up in like my era like my generation of people growing up in the early 2000s like it's like nostalgic like the amount of times i've seen left right that music video on my for you page and people being like oh my god like this is giving so-and-so and it reminds me of so-and-so and it's like people that don't even stand like k-pop or whatever they like are very intrigued by these girlies and yeah i think targeting k-pop fans when you're doing a group like this is really 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 important because they're the ones that are going to be more open to it but then also them singing in English targets a whole different audience of people, especially with that branding that I was talking about. So I think that they're going to literally be huge. They're freaking going to 88 Rising, Head in the Cloud, whatever, in New York. And I'm so sad I can't go. But I will be waiting for them to like drop more music, go on tour, because I will freaking be there, dude. I will literally be there. But anyways, um, those are just my thoughts. Um, I'm so excited for the rest of this documentary. I literally can't wait. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know who your bias is down below. I would love to know. Um, but anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!